It is easy to have a victim mentality. It is easy in any case because we are all quite self-centered and very entitled. In general, that's a problem in society. It's a special problem if that reason is that you have to live differently because you are a Christian. You feel that if you weren't a Christian, that you could live the way that you want to, the, the, the way that this society recommends, have the mentality that is presented to you and go with the flow. Do everything that they are, they are, they are doing at your college. Uh, speak in the same way that your friends do at your workplace. For sure, if you don't be careful, you can fall into a victim mentality when it comes to your faith because yes, you are called to a higher standard of morality. You are called to give sacrificially of your time and of your money. You are called to do things that other people are just simply not called to do, namely read a very old, very thick, very ancient book that every day. <laughs> and you can feel the weight of the burden. The, it's hard, this life is hard enough to have the added burden of Christianity. But burden? Really? I, I want to encourage you today not to think of yourself as a victim. I am not a victim. In Proverbs chapter 28, verses 6 through 18, we are told that we are not victims. No matter how rich or how poor you are in this life, how difficult you have it, to live a life that the Bible here calls integrity, to live the Christian life is not the life of a victim. Look, better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. Verse 18 adds to this thought, whoever walks in his integrity will be delivered. But he who is crooked in his ways will suddenly fall. Jesus puts it in that way. In his uh, picture of the wide and narrow gate. Wide and narrow way. To put where it says crooked way here. That wide and narrow, wide gate and way you would understand the connection. The narrow way, the narrow gate, is the walk of faith. It's walking in Jesus' footsteps, but those, those steps are the blessed steps. Why? Because he who walks in his integrity, walks that narrow way, will be delivered. It is the path of salvation. And the crooked path, the wide gate, the wide way, is the path of destruction. Your way is the way of salvation. Your way is the blessed way, my loved one, because it is Jesus' way. And Jesus' path, yes, was and is the path of death, but it is also the path of resurrection. Resurrection life, resurrection joy, resurrection meaning, re resurrection purpose, resurrection renewal for the times when we fall and when we fail. Only this, believe it or not, narrow way is wide enough to embrace all the difficulties of the life we face. You are not a victim, loved one. And though it is cliche, in Christ you are not a victim, you are a victor. You are victorious in Jesus. Own your victory. Have you fallen one too many times? You know that theologically that's not right. Let your theology rule your heart. You are a victor. Now stand back up and fight. Like you are on the winning side. <laughs> because you are. Because you serve a God who uses all of your circumstances for his glory and for your good. Because you serve a Savior who bears your cross with you who carries the weight of it so that though it is 
big and it would be unbearable and it would make you feel like a victim being nailed there. Jesus bears the weight. And so you are not a victim and you share in his victory. That is what it means to be a Christian. I challenge you, give up your weak thoughts of God, weak thoughts of yourself, repent of them, lay them down at the foot of the cross, confess your weak thoughts before him, and own the great thoughts and the great plan that Jesus has for you that he has already accomplished through his perfect life, death, and resurrection. Let's ask the Lord in this next song to purify our hearts so that we may more rightly reflect his life and consequently his heart of joyful sacrifice Embrace of all of life's difficulties and persecution for the glory of God. Let's worship. This, I prayer, this prayer I pray for all those listening to me. Guilt-ridden children who desperately long to be holy in experience as they already are in principle. I pray this song not only for my brothers and sisters but also for myself. How easily my hands get dirty and I stray from the perfect, the perfection that I have in principle in you, King Jesus. So purify us with the principle of the gospel that we may walk away that is pure and blameless as you have designed us to live. This is what you gave your life for. This is what you've given us your life for. We praise you. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. <laughs>